Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are just going to be doing a normal day in the life. This is my favorite creamer. If you guys don't like pumpkin spice, this is a really good one for fall. Um, but today we're just going to be doing just a simple, a simple day in the life, like what you guys want and want to see. So that's what we're doing today. And so buckle in and let's just jump into today's video. So I am going and making my bed right away. I find if I don't do it right in the morning, it never gets done. So um, I just go ahead and do that right away. And as an adult, I was talking to this, talking about this with one of my friends. And it's like, once you're an adult, it's so much nicer to go into a made bed whenever, you know, it's the end of the day and you're tired and worn out. It is so nice to actually go into a made bed at night. And um, that is why I do this. It's really not for any other reason besides for my own mental sanity at the end of the day because it's so nice to just crawl into a made bed it feels fresh it feels nice and it feels relaxing and kind of like almost a whole day just kind of washed away not saying like i dread every single day and i hate every day and so i want the whole day to be washed away but <laughs> it does just feel like something peaceful and nice and serene about going into a made bed so doing that opening up the curtains we've had so much fog lately it's been just I don't know crazy in the morning so there's our room it's beautiful and then I go into my son's room his is really simple he has like I don't know like two pillows and like all his stuffed animals I just throw in this pillowcase that you see me unzipping right now and it just keeps it all nice and compact and I just really like that if you have a kid with a bunch of stuffed animals highly recommend an empty pillowcase stuffing it in there that is honestly one of the best um, ways to do that in my opinion and then now we're just filling up the diffuser today we did tangerine orange and thieves it is our favorite fall scent my son helped me this morning he still is learning how to use everything and so I don't just let him like do it all by himself but he also does help a lot and he does a really good job with it so that is what we're doing there and the scent that he picked out out of our container and just for you guys to know I don't let him smell it or anything he just wanted to touch it for a minute so I just was gonna let him and there's a little pup pup and he's just hanging out he was really good today um, which is surprising because we've had some rough days with him like just teaching him and training him and stuff and so it's been Yesterday was really nice, which is whenever I recorded this. It was really nice because he was so calm and relaxed and enjoyable to be around that it was honestly really nice. And a well-trained dog is honestly just good for the soul, in my opinion. And so now I'm just opening up the curtains and kind of getting that morning sunshine into our house. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie Ray and I'm very excited that you guys are here. If you're watching my videos for the first time, welcome. And if you are looking for any links that I might, you know, of things I have in my home and things like that, I typically have it all linked on my website, which is linked in the description box below. I try to update that once a month um, with like my monthly favorites kind of stuff. So I need to go do a whole revamp of that. But for right now, all of them are linked. So, but if you don't find one, you can ask me on Instagram, in the comments or somewhere else like that. But we are making breakfast um, today. We're just having a slow day, relaxed day, because um, it's Monday and we don't really need to be like grinding out anything today. Tomorrow we have um, school, so that will be different for us. Um, but our Mondays are not school days and they are just more relaxed, um, cleaning up a progression of Sunday. I did go through on Sunday while my son, who is with my in laws, yes, baby. You want some bacon? Okay, mommy's almost done with the bacon. She's gonna pull it out and then she'll give it to you, okay? Um, but while he was gone, I did a full reset of the whole entire house. And so it's been really nice and really refreshed. So anyways, I'm making my son some food cause he's hungry and I will talk to you guys in a minute. All right, this is so funny. I just had to show that because this is what my life looks like. Just a bunch of toys and I just love it. And this is me making some breakfast for my son. Again, I mentioned in the clip where I was talking to you. I didn't really mean to do two intros, but I didn't really know how else to open up the video without saying welcome back. But <laughs> anyways, um, I am making some breakfast for 
my son. He was starving and I couldn't cook breakfast fast enough. And honestly, he ate so much this morning that I was lucky that I even got the food that I did for breakfast, which is surprising because usually he's, I mean, he's a toddler, he's three, so it's not like he's really going through food that quickly like a teenager, but today it was. This is the day that he ate a ton of food. Even dinner time, I mean, I gave him a snack and then dinner and then lunch and then, I mean, he just ate a ton. So blessings upon blessings though, because he used to be extremely picky eater slash some days he still is a picky eater. So on the days that he isn't, I'm very excited about it. Um, those of you asking, this is called a misto that I'm spraying the oil out of. Um, I just fill it with whatever oil I have and then I just do that. I had a little bit of spill of some eggs, so I'm cleaning that up real quick. Um, I don't like to have raw eggs just scattered about. And then my son was begging for some bacon, so I pulled out the bacon a little bit early. Not too much, but some of them weren't fully done like how we like them, so I took out the ones that were. And um, I do use my bare hands. I know people ask me that a lot. Yes, they're washed, and I do use my bare hands. Um, the heat doesn't bother me. And then I go ahead and like rip up this bacon just because he likes to have that because the rest of it was still cooking. Again, today I just could not get breakfast out quick enough, but this is what it turned out like and it was really good. And I was super lucky just to get those like amount of bacon that I did because my son ended up eating all the bacon and, the, and like one egg and um, he never finished the biscuits, but I can guarantee you I he probably would have if I would have let him. So. Um, I just find it really funny because today was just one of those days that were not normal, um, but were really exciting. So anyways, that's what we had for breakfast. And now I am just kind of like putting away the food, getting things cleaned up because I find that I really have to work hard at keeping my house clean because naturally it's not clean and naturally it's just really difficult to do that um, for me. I'm not very good at keeping a well-made house. I would like to and like to say that I am, but I it really is hard for me to focus and do that well because I'm just naturally a messy person. So for me to not be messy is kind of hard. So I just try to do my best and that's the best that you can always do. So I am just getting these plants figured out and everything like that. I watered that plant that I showed you and then showed you these bird feeders that I just love on the back porch. They make me smile. And then here I'm just picking up the chicken coop fence. Um, I put them up just because I thought it'd be helpful um, and nice and that is basically all that I'm doing there. And then my son found my camera and he was talking. Listen, I don't usually share stuff like this, but this is where I'll be for the next however long because if you are work from home mom that has a flexible schedule or stay at home mom you know that or even a mom at all on the weekend all you're doing is pretend play and trying to get your stuff done in between so that's what i'm doing i already um i keep trying to tilt it so you guys can see it but basically i already did all the boxes and stuff but now i am just sitting here playing with him He's playing so much better with less toys, but we have a whole farm going because it goes with this little thing and he's playing with that and the chickens are in their pen and the tractors are put away and we're watching Alvin and the chipmunks in black and white. Um, so this is super fun for us. This is where I'll be for a considerably long time. All right, I wanted to thank Arlo for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Um, I am sitting right next to the camera right now, so I'm gonna pull it off. It is a wireless camera where you can attach it anywhere. So ours is facing the road because we get a lot of packages and I just wanna make sure that nothing is getting stolen out of them um, and things like that. And it is perfect for that. They have sponsored me already on Instagram and they decided they wanted to sponsor me on YouTube as well. And so I really do appreciate hey, them. I Okay, and there is this tiny little 
um, button that you can press and it opens up the whole entire camera which is where you have your battery pack that you charge periodically and just like the little hollow shell that holds everything in um, there's also a section right here where you can gather all the information that this has recorded um, and it also has it comes with a USB and the charger for the thing and then it also comes with another USB where you can take it and attach it to the back of this where then it can also attach onto your um, it captures all the images and videos that it has on here and you can put it on your camera I mean on your camera on your computer to where you can see every single thing that you have been recording this whole period of time um, and also it has a very long okay it has a really long range um, to be able to see so I can put this in my room right here and it's see all the way to the end of our road which is pretty far and I can still have crystal clear imaging, um, which is something that I really wanted just to make sure because my husband and I both run our businesses from home. And so it's nice to know that all the packages that I get for sponsorships are safe and all the packages that he gets for his business are also safe. Okay. Um, we have a bunch of other cameras in our home, um, but that's more like plug-in, not wireless or anything. This is our ever first wireless camera and I absolutely love it um, the only thing that I would recommend you guys is not putting it outside because this is not waterproof I believe they have some options that are waterproof I have not looked through their whole entire selection of them only looking at these wireless ones but I highly recommend um, looking into this seeing what you have available to you and your family and um, see which one would be best for you but they also have this which is also just like able to be moved all this comes in your package i will leave a link for them in the description box below as well as a discount code that i would get um and i will share that also on the screen um but other than that that is all i have for you guys and i wanted to say thank you go again so much for arlo for sponsoring today's portion of the video it also does come with a sticker to where you can put it on your um window i actually put that in my office and i will go show you that um or put an overlay of that here uh, but yes, thank you so much for Arlo for sponsoring today's video. Um, it truly has saved and given me a peace of mind what? knowing that my whole entire house is totally surveillance and I can actually do that very well. So now back to your normal paid programming. All right, so my husband just came by and had some lunch. This is from an activity that we did. Um, he just came by and had some lunch with like never happened, so I did not record that. But we had hot dogs, or not hot dogs, sausage um, with um, bread, like the soft bread. Um, we had that and then like some mustard with it and then some chips for lunch. Like literally nothing nice, <laughs> nothing fancy, um, but it does feed your belly and it is good and it is affordable. So there's that. Um, we are done with the show that we were watching. He's going to watch another one. We're going to about to enter quiet time and I will get some work done. I have some brands reaching out, so I'm going to get back to them. And then from there, we can go ahead and continue on with the rest of the video and the rest of all the stuff. Well, I guess I can show you some of my work stuff, but we're going to get some of that stuff done. Um, and I already listened to another phone call video kind of thing for um, my personal training business stuff. So I'm already pretty much caught up with all of that caught up with emails um besides one that i need to get out for a brand and then everything else we're good so far i mean i'm sure it's gonna hit all at once at the end of the day but for the most part we're checking off things the only thing i need to do that i need to catch up with is fold laundry and do dishes um but everything else we're pretty much on the up and up for all of that so i'm going to possibly turn on a show let him watch it for a little bit and see what happens all right and then here is our dinner it was tacos something easy that i know everyone's going to like and eat and enjoy and i don't have to worry about no one eating it and these are like tiny little mini sopapilla cheesecakes i actually don't know if that's the right name for them but that's kind of just what i made up using brown sugar and cream cheese and butter and um, some crescents and I feel like it looked really good and tasted good fit the theme um, So this is what we're having for dinner tonight And then usually while I'm doing dinner I prep for the morning so I set my coffee 
in and ready to go and made sure the water was filled up. And then now we are into the whole entire cleaning process for um, the evening cleaning routine. So that is what we are doing here right now. Um, and yeah, just cleaning everything. Usually I let dishes go like all night and then I do them the next day But if you've watched my last video, you know that I have struggled with some anxiety and things like that And so I've just I will do Everything I can to make sure that I set myself up good for the next day and washing the dishes Is just one of those things that doesn't stress me out anymore I can just get it done and move on because it's still gonna be the same level of work and stress you know in those kind of moments now obviously if my son's sick or I'm sick or someone's sick, I'm not going to be doing the dishes, but for the most part, day to day, I'm getting the dishes done every single day because otherwise it's just more work for me to do the next day. And I used to never understand that. And then all of a sudden, like, I don't know, this past week, I just realized like, I might as well just get done today's work today and like worry about tomorrow's work the next day because I feel like we just continually have just more stuff every single day. And so I've been really focusing on just the day-to-day -day tasks, the day-to-day -day things, and focusing on just today. All right, and then now I'm just cleaning up all of the toys. Again, I cleaned up earlier today. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I cleaned up earlier today so that way I wouldn't have so many to clean up. So I'm done and I'm very happy about that. This corner of my kitchen is my absolute favorite. It is just so beautiful and cozy with the lamp and with the pumpkin. And that is a real recipe. I just have never made it before, but apparently you can. I got it at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. I don't live by Hobby Lobby anymore, sadly. Um, my budget probably loves it, but I don't. Um, <laughs> but all this stuff here is just so pretty to me. So I'm very thankful to have it in the kitchen and thankful I got it when I did. 
And then this is some water. I just needed to get some for like nighttime. I like to always have a glass of water with me. I think it does just make me feel safer and happier with everything. So that's what I do at night. I just make sure and refill that every day. Um, so there's that. And then I also love Kelly's Corner. If you've never watched it, she just does like a lot of motivational stuff. And I listen to her whenever I clean. And then this is my dog. He looks like that before he goes to sleep. His eyes get all red and sad and tired. <laughs> and my son was asleep at this point. So I turned out his light and his diffuser is set up as well. And then I go into my room and I get the light nice and set up. Um, I always turn on this lamp. It just is super nice and cozy. I got it off of Amazon if anyone wants to know where it came from. And then remember that made bed? <laughs> just kidding. Um, I am putting up all of like my planner. I usually keep my planner by my bed. It helps with my racing thoughts. And I just unmake my bed and get out my Bible prayer journal. Um, now I am heading to the bathroom to take a shower get ready for bed and then whenever I come out of the shower you know the drill I do all my vitamins and anything that I feel like I need to take even if it's like medicine I only take it in the evening it's the only time I ever remember it I don't know why but I guess because this is like a moment where I have some time to myself and I can actually think and like use my thoughts <laughs> instead of just have them fly away in my brain throughout the day because I have so much going on. This is a time where I can like think about everything I need and what I need to be doing and so I just get all my vitamins out. I do take a lot but that's because I am going through a lot um, emotionally with just like life changes and stuff and so I my body depletes through things a little bit quicker than usual. And then now I'm getting my diffuser set up. I like to put lavender, eucalyptus, um, cedar wood and some like thieves like essential oils basically just like an immune boosting one I like to do that um, just about every night and so that's what I do for us almost every single night and I put it on the candle setting this is another one from Young Living uh, and then this is just how cozy it looks I think it just looks so nice and so cozy and just enjoyable to be in the room and then this is my prayer journal I wanted to share it with you. It just has some, like all my prayers in one place, which is what I really like as a mom because I just want a place where I know all the things I need to pray, all the things that all in one place before I go to sleep. And I do try to pray these every single night and also pray for other people. And then Bible diving tab is basically the one where I, things I want to look up in the Bible and learn about. Um, because I think of things at night in my head and it just pops up. So thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.